five, the pitch out as Devin Brown passed up a three point opportunity. And they're going to throw it inside now to Ogowskis. And he curls and scores. Yeah, he, not the prettiest of moves in the post with his back to the basket. Sometimes a little unorthodox, but Ogowskis still manages to find a way to put it in. Like to see the Raptors go after him defensively. He has committed the second most fouls in the NBA only to Amari Stoudemire. Tomorrow move. The step back over Pavlovich. Remy, no. Tip good. Rush to Sterovich. And the Raptors could have used Rush to Sterovich the last time they played Cleveland. He can keep Ogowskis on his heels. He's going to stay in the low post and look for the garbage points. Nice job on the glass as well. Raptor basketball with Cole DeRoe. He's at the point. Bargnani on a bump and a drive. The pitch out. Cold room from 21. Trademark of the Toronto Raptors. The drive and kick. Unselfish basketball. Players willing to create for one another. Cavaliers have won four of the last five here at the Air Canada Center. As Pavlovich with a finger roll off window. He's what kind of a player is he, Will? For a while there, he was considered just a shooter, Chuck. But he's got a good body. He's becoming better defensively. He's a guy that can be physical at that end of the floor if he wants. But offensively, he can really stroke it. Speaking of guys who can stroke it, how about Anthony Parker? Number one in the league behind the arc at 54%. And it kind of goes back to what we say about players like Calderon, Delfino. They don't take a lot of bad shots, so it gives you a chance to shoot a great percentage. That's Pavlovich again. He missed the first three games in a contract dispute. He's got by David Jones with 10 on the clock. And a crossover in the paint to the cup. And he lost the handle, recovers. Five on the shot clock. Capoto from 13. Get it! Well, Raptors fortunate to get a recovery there and find the right guy. There's a loose ball right now. Give it to Capono because he'll bury it. He's been on fire. And in the books, it goes down as an assist to TJ Ford. <laughs> That's right. He'll take it. And it's one and done for the Cavaliers. Now shooting 44%. Delfino fires up the jumper. I like that move, Chuck. You go with the defender. You're coming down in transition. You put the ball on the floor right at him. He's backpedaling. There's no way he can stop and contest the shot. Raptors have scored all six points here in the second period. Brown against and puts it into the hands of Ogowskis. Nesterovich came over and Zedrudis Ogowskis with a banker. Ford has replaced Calderon. Gooden swings it to Damon Jones. Jones. Pocket ball for Pavlovich. And he can shoot that three. I mean, you, when you look at the shooters, maybe not so much Daniel Gibson, but Damon Jones and Sasha Pavlovich, percentages are very, very different when they have to create their own shot or put on the floor. And that's why Sam Mitchell wants the Raptors to really run out on him. Oh, my. Delfino in the zone. For the Raptors, they are 5 of 6 behind the arc. 72-63 Raptors. Calderon working on a 9.9 assist night. Calderon against Pavlovich, the 19 footer. Yes! Nothing but nylon. Jose Calderon. He's a perfect 5 for 5 from the floor. Yanni going to the bench. Parker finds Jamario Moot to the rack! And they are going to wave it off. Traveling on Jamario Moon. Well, I, I called the salami and cheese last night, the next Boston game, 10 minutes into the game. That, that was ugly. It is, a, it is amazing what's happening in New York, and you have to wonder how long that Knicks organization is going to put up with, or stay status quo. And Leah, let me tell you what. Our producer, Paul Graham, he called the salami and cheese after the anthem. Okay. Well, Chuck, you know, I've been talking to fans around uh, around Canada, and they're saying you're a little slow on the salami and cheese this year. Saying there's, there's like a delay factor. <laughs> Being cautious, just cautious. Fans don't want that, Chuck. They want the aggressive <laughs> source. They want the source on the edge. Delfino for three. Like Delfino, he plays the game on the edge. He doesn't hold back. He's fearless. That's what they want from you, too. And you know what, Leo? He has a career high now with 20 points. He is 7 of 9 from the floor in 23 minutes. Eric Snow, he got tied up. Snow, nope.
We'll see what the Raptors run here with T.J. Ford, who has played 14 minutes off the bench, scoreless, but six assists. Ford, fadeaway jumper, nope, tip good, Delfino. And this ball game is over. Raptors win, Raptors win, Raptors win. 91-82 over the Cleveland Cavaliers. On the Wizards tomorrow in Washington, D.C.